Okay, so moving along, let's go ahead and add the link that goes to the uh, to the author's comment page. Let me switch back here, and uh, it's really simple. Inside this uh, href, we're gonna put a uh, PHP, not HPHP, and we're gonna echo git underscore comment underscore author, and you can see it's already down here in my uh, drop down. I'm just gonna type that, and um, you can empty this out because by default it'll go to the uh, actual author. Uh, let's add this down here to the uh, image as well. Where's it at? Oh, that was the image, excuse me. What I'll do is paste it in there. So I'm going to wrap this PHP function with a, um, and I'll hit enter with an anchor tag so that, uh, there we go. So now the, uh, the image and the author's name is linked. Um, while we're here, why don't we go ahead and add the uh, date and time. So I'm going to put that in a small tag. And the first thing I'm going to put is PHP comment. Um, I see time right there, but I thought it was date. I'm going to put date. And let's see. And then I'll put at so it'll be the date at the time. Okay, that's right. And let's see, comment. Now I can use time. And just close that. And I think that's it. Also we need to add the uh, reply button or, or at least the reply link. And we'll do that just underneath our comment text. So, um, right, PHP comment underscore reply link. There we go. And let's see a few uh, parameters we can pass through. We're going to deal with those in just a second because I want to, uh, well, I'll show you. Close that out. And I think that's it for now. Let me save it. I'll switch back and refresh. There we go. So now we have our avatar that links to the uh, page. And Mr. WordPress avatar goes to WordPress.org. The name's also linked, and we see our date and time here. So we don't see our reply link. So maybe I did it wrong. Let me go back and check. Let's go reply link. Um, I guess I do have to pass those parameters through. I thought there was like a default look to it, but whatever. Um, I'll just dive right into this. I want to pass some uh, bootstrap styles to it, so I need to use array merge. And I'll show you what I'm merging in just a second. But um, inside here, I want to merge args, which is the original args from uh, right here and another array which will be kind of like a, a template for the reply text so let me see here I'm gonna put reply text oops reply underscore text and I'm gonna set that to uh, I'm going to type a double underscore like that and then parentheses and comma. Inside here is where I put my HTML. And I've already figured out what I wanted it to be. So I'll just put strong reply strong. And then I want to put a uh, an icon next to it, one of the bootstrap icons. And I'm going to use the um, Icon dash share dash out. And then I'll close it out like that. And then my next line here, I'm going to put depth and 
set that to the value of depth, which was one of the parameters we passed in the callback, the comma. And then for max depth, put it like that, and we'll set it to args, and we'll access that max depth key. And um, then I'll save it. Let's see. Hopefully now it shows up. Refresh. And there we go. So I guess I learned something new. I thought there was like a default look to it, but apparently you have to pass those uh, parameters through. Um, now, of course, I don't want it to just look like that. I actually want to give it this button style, and I'll show you how you do that um, in the next video. But so far, we're getting there, and uh, the functionality works. So um, thanks for watching.